Consumer expenditure is price times quantity. Work it out. Now, if your Mars bars cost $2 and you buy 10 of them, you spend $20. Elasticity has implications for consumer expenditure now because uh, as price increases, quantity demanded falls. So when the demand is elastic, quantity demanded changes proportionally more than the price. Thus, a change in quantity has a bigger effect on the total consumer expenditure than does the change in price. Now look at this diagram. The green rectangle shows the original expenditure, which is the original price, times the original quantity. When we increase the price, we get a new total expenditure, which is the red rectangle. Now, since price increased, quantity demanded decreased. But quantity decreased more than proportionally. So though between P and Q, one increased and one decreased, we can easily conclude that the total expenditure dropped because Q decreased more than proportionally. And that is because PED is elastic. So when we look at something with inelastic demand, let's say the green box is for our original expenditure and when we increase the price, the quantity decreases less than proportionally. So what do you think will happen? Well, the total expenditure will be more than the original because when we increase the price, uh, quantity decreases, but nonetheless, um, less than proportionately. The quantity de uh, decreases less than proportionately. So P times Q actually increases. Notice how this, this differs from the case when, let's say, PED is elastic.